I suck at baseball. The last few videos I posted, the comments section just full of hate saying I'm absolutely terrible. So I had to make a change. What I did was I went online and researched the best baseball training bat, and I think I have it right here. Okay, people. Tip, if you're gonna open a box, oh! bring scissors or something right there. You might be wondering, what is that? Claire's never even seen this either. So she's gonna be surprised as well. Boom. What do we have here? This is the Pro Velocity Bat, all right? You might be thinking, what am I even looking at? The design in this is just basically incredible, to be honest. Like, <laughs> I have seen so many baseball training items in my life, and I've never seen anything like this. But yeah, I actually reached out to Pro Velocity Bat. I saw them on Instagram, and I said, hey, I suck at baseball, will you please help me send me a bat? And they did, so they hooked it up for free. I wasn't paid to make this video, but I did get the bat, and we're gonna see if it's good or not. I'm not gonna lie just because they gave me a free bat, right? I'm gonna be freaking critical. If my speed doesn't increase swinging this bat, I'm gonna be upset, all right? Now, let me tell you how this bat works, okay? Basically, is it helps you get bat speed, which is very good for baseball. And how you do that is there's these little bands right here, okay? You see that? Boom, boom. And you put these on this to add resistance. So right now, there's one band, okay? If I swing, you hear the t -t -t double click. I swung hard enough for it to go all the way down and back. But if you do another clip, boom, it gets a little bit harder, boom. That's what we're talking about. So the main objective here is to find the strength that you can't hit the end of the bat with, and then you swing as hard as you can, and you build up your muscles, and then you're now you're a better hitter. So we got some work to do. And what's also cool about this is you can actually hit real balls with it. Like you don't have to hit tennis balls. You can literally hit a real baseball with this. And I just wanna see like how many uh, bands already resist me. Like, I don't know if anyone can actually do all of them yet, but here's two, easy. Here's three, easy. Here's four, ooh. We might've already found our weak spot. Four, there's four. Here's five, oh yeah. Here's six. Did that hit? I don't know. That's six. Here's seven. Yeah, there ain't no way. <laughs> I can't even pull this. All right, so I was able to hit what, seven? Or I got six, I couldn't do seven. So we're gonna have Claire go and see how many she can get. All right, here's Claire, swing one. Boom, perfect. Claire's going to band number two. All right, Claire got two. And people, this is what you do. You just drag it down and then boop, pops right in place. And three. She got it and she might've broke her hand in the process. And Claire is going to four now and she hurt her hand again. All right, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up here for Claire, she's breaking her hand. Her thumb hurts when she swings. Not quite sure why that is, but I don't know. And yeah, people, I looked it up online just to make sure I can hit real baseballs because with a lot of these training bats, you can't actually hit a real baseball because it would break, but it says online you can hit with real baseballs. So we're gonna try this out. And yes, people, I am going to be having two different color batting gloves on this video because one of them broke. All right, and to start, I am going to use one band of resistance, okay? So the main objective here is to get the bat speed quick enough so when you hit the ball, this part is all the way down. If it's not down, you're gonna smack it off this metal piece and it's not gonna look right. So if you get the bat speed quick enough, this slides down to hit the baseball, boom. I guess that worked. We're gonna get a slow-mo shot here because this just feels so different, but I think it works. So we're gonna get one slow-mo here. All right, so I think I did do, I think I need another band. I feel like one is just a little too easy. Oh yeah, right up the middle, baby, boom. All right, so still two is a little bit too easy. Let's raise it up to four, boom. Easy. All right, so far, four bands, not enough to stop me. We're going to five. Oh, we're gonna go to another band. So that is what, three, six bands. Oh. I don't know if that got it. I have no idea. <laughs> okay, after further review, it did indeed hit the bottom. So that is very good. Okay, so I have seven bands now. Definitely not gonna hit this ball, but uh, this is gonna show us what happens if you have too much strength on the bat and you hit it off the edge. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so after further review, I did actually hit the ball off of this white barrel, but I did not get this part of the bat down all the way. So this is too much strength, which means I gotta work on my bat speed now. Now, obviously something like this takes weeks for it to like really take full effect because you're literally changing the muscle fibers in your body. But uh, we're gonna see what kind of results you get for one day of use. And you might be wondering, hey Mighty, how are you going to prove 
that this Pro Velocity bat can make you better even the second you use it? Well, we're gonna find out because I have the Rab Soto turned on and we are gonna get exit velocities. We're gonna get exit velocities off the tee without using the Pro Velocity bat and then I'm gonna use this for like five minutes and then we're gonna see if I got better or worse. Let's go. All right, so I'm gonna take 10 swings off the tee with a bat and we're gonna see my average exit velocity here and then we're gonna go to the Pro Velocity bat, see if we can pick up some velocity. And to keep it fair, I have to swing like basically as hard as I can every single time or else it's cheating. Ooh, good piece. Oh, I got way under that thing. Good piece. That ball's ripped. 91.3, all right, we're heating up now, baby. Oh, decent. That was ripped. 91.5, pretty good. Boom, 90.1, all right, pretty good round, I think. Okay, so my average exit velocity 88.1, max exit velocity, 91.5. Okay, so now I got the pro velocity bad. I'm going to actually lower this one difficulty because I'm not even able to hit it that low. So I'm gonna do probably, I don't know, five minutes of swings with this, and then we're gonna go off the tee again and see if I hit the ball harder. Let's go. Oh, I've been doing this for like, I don't know, maybe 20 swings. I bet if I swung with that normal bat, we're already gonna be way above it, guaranteed. All right, so I'm basically hitting it every single time with six bands. I'm gonna raise it up to seven here and try to hit it. Oh, yeah, it's not hitting. Seven is my weak spot, bro. Ah, it, it might be barely touching it. Bro, I'm telling you, this thing wears you out. I've probably been swinging three minutes, maybe. Bro, I'm telling you, if you use this on the on-deck circle before you're hitting, I don't think anyone's gonna throw a fastball by you. Yeah, I'm gonna destroy these baseballs. I'm telling you, I might crack 100 today. I don't know why. Like, I'm not trying to change my swing, but like, I'm telling you, when you hold this and swing it, mentally, something changes. Let's go for two more minutes. Oh. Okay, I'm done swinging the Pro Velocity bat. First off, incredible workout. Oh, I wish I would've put an Apple Watch on to see how many calories because I'm fat now. And if I can lose some fat by swinging that thing and then also increase my bat speed and power, bro, that's a win-win. Let's go. 91.4. 97.1. Oh my God. I feel like I'm whipping this thing. 94, bro. These are the hardest I've hit a ball. If I went to metal here, I'm telling you I'm hitting it over 100. Bro. That's it, that's, that's 98.1. 96.9, woo! 96 flat, oh my God. 96 flat again. Okay, so the average exit velocity, 94.1. Max exit velocity, 97.1. So we increased six miles per hour on the average and the max exit velocity was like 5.6 higher. That is called results. I am actually shocked. Again, I swear, that first round, I didn't try to barely swing. I just swung as hard as I could at that moment. I swung a little bit with the pro velocity bat, went right back to hitting, and my God, I gained literally so much miles per hour. I really don't know if the results of that bat are supposed to happen that quick. I don't know. Maybe I just got more warmed up. I have no idea. But even last week when I was hitting, I wasn't hitting 97.1 off the tee. That never happened. So clearly that bat, mentally, physically, I don't know what, but it changed something. I don't know if my swing just changed because of how you have to swing with that bat or what. I don't know, but we're going live. I might crack 450 feet today. I, I truthfully don't know. This is crazy. Okay, we got the pitching machine on. I'm gonna take a few swings with the Pro Velocity bat, just to get my memory back to where it was like five minutes ago, because that was insane. Oh, I feel good. Let's keep these results the same here. I'm feeling good. Broken hand, first swing. Oh my God. I felt that all the way into my elbow, like legit. I right, got on top of it, that's all right. Timing's still jacked up. That's all right, I haven't hit live in a minute. Give me a break. 94.7, all right, there we go. Finally, we hit a ball good. It's ripped. 100.4, 100.4, wow. I was gonna start a series about me trying to get an exit velocity over 100, and I literally did 100.4. No! 
God dang it. I think I took too many swings too fast. We're gonna take a minute break, hang on. We're gonna go to a metal bat just to see what happens. I gotta get 100 one more time. I should've just quit at 100. So loud. 100.7. I'm ending on a home run. 355. Depending on the field, that's a home run. Let's go! All right, well there you go, people. I'm a little tired, a little sweaty, but we did it. We broke 100. We got 97 or something off the tee, and then we got 100.7 live, and we got 100.4 too, I think. Yeah, and one was with wood, and one was with metal. So honestly, very productive day. I swung the Pro Velocity bat, and I gained five to 10 miles per hour, easily. I'm gonna keep swinging that every single day for a week, okay? And we're gonna see what happens. I don't know how I can't get back. I mean, it's insane. I'm not even kidding. There was no reason for me to lie cheat, literally no reason. I wasn't paid. They didn't say, hey, make this sound good. We'll give you a million dollars. No, they just gave me the bat. So incredible. Like I said, I'm going to be swinging this every day for a week. Next week, I'm going to redo this video and we're going to see if my bat speeds get faster or slower. That could be insane. I could be hitting 105 next week. I don't know. But if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new, subscribe. Let me know in the comments. If you used one of those before and uh, let me know if you've had the same results. I, I still can't believe it. <laughs> Literally, I thought maybe one, maybe two. I got over 100 twice. First time in forever. So, incredible. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know. Put a bat here. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.